State University just outside Atlanta. Jake Withers and Connor Farrell is the matchup we have at the face-off X, and we will see how Jake Withers' scrappy style matches up against big Connor Farrell, who won 12-27 against T.D. Erlin last week in his only game this year. And that ball was available for the Wings, and eventually it's scooped up by Rylan Reese. Two-pointers on Friday night alone in the Chaos Water Dogs matchup, and so... At least people a little bit more willing to take the two ball in this one as Connor Farrell won the face off and that pass is grabbed by White. Pass Ward. Colin Hecock is with Corey. Colin, quick response there down to you. Came in, made that goal. What happened? Uh, Coach just said it all week, Hawk throwing it, that they're going to be pressuring out. So our offense kind of got in our set early. Uh, gave us the ability to kind of run our play. And uh, fortunately, I got the shot in. But we'll see what happens here. Thanks, Colin. Guys? Thank you. Corey Collin had one last week to get that shot away. And Brown has himself his first goal today. Connor Farrell briefly had it. It's knocked out of his stick. And Ryan Reese up with it for, as his first goal of the afternoon. Just one goal last week against Redwoods as Farrell won the faceoff. And then a nifty play for John Madursky to keep it alive. Cardle, if he continues to have the quality production the rest of the game, Connor Farrell secures the face off. Karen McCardle with the goal, and he's with Corey. Karen, you four for five, and they have zero turnovers at this point in the game. Connor Farrell accosted after he had the ball. He knocks down Withers. It is still available. They will award it to Water Dogs. And speaking of turnovers, one of a kind. <laughs> The answer to your question, Ryan, although we won't see it here, was three times Connor Farrell had won a faceoff and immediately turned it over. So three times out of a two-pointer in this first quarter. Withers jump. Andy Copeland's Water Dogs with a 6-4 lead over Chrome here. Start of the second quarter. Let's welcome in Corey Robinson once again. Corey. Thanks, Brendan. I heard Coach, he got his entire squad together and had one message. He said, we have to be mentally tough. We have too many self-inflicted wounds. I told you it would go the distance. So the Water Dogs are in for a long battle today. Brendan? All right. This quarter alone and one shot on cage. Got her Farrell with a somersault to get that face-off win. Looked like him. Might have been the whole squad, but it certainly looked like him making a play. So John Rannigan gets him within one possession, and then the possession is won by Connor Fair that is making his way to the medical tent. 21 seconds to go here in the second quarter after the Reeves goal has made it 8-5 for Water Dogs. Connor Farrell had those turnover problems early, but he has not had them lately. But at that time, he lost his stick, kicked the ball ahead, and it's Withers who ultimately tracks it down. Ten seconds to go in the quarter. Plenty of time. Withers advances it. Ryland Reese gives it up, and the two-try is stopped by Galloway. Connor Farrell, pretty clean face-off win against Withers. In the defensive exit, so he tosses it back to Galloway. So now five goals from five different players for Chrome, Jackson Morrill. Really impressed Tim Sudan in training camp and had a goal and assist last week in his pro debut for Redwoods. Rookie out of Denver on the board here. This was a pile up off the face off. And it is Water Dogs ball. First season in the PLL and he has fit in nicely with this Water Dogs team. Ryan Brown made the stick check on Barkley. It looked like he was about to pick that up. No problem. And it more on gutter day might have a chuckle after the game or maybe even that last huddle <laughs> but they'll take it they've clawed their way back within two connor farrell wins another face off for chrome the player of the year at lynchburg spent his grad year this season at high point he's got himself a pll goal and he's with corey robinson Congratulations, PLL goal on your debut. Uh, what exactly happened there on that individual? Home lacrosse club. They are down by one at the start of the fourth quarter. Looking for their first win of the season. Water Dogs have started the year one and one. They have led since the first shot of the game when Rylan Reese put them up 2-0. But Connor Farrell has taken over at X. 
And Chrome gets another possession here to start the fourth. And it's just a beautiful... Jackson Morrill has two goals, the only multi-goal scorer on the Chrome ledger. Not a clean win that time for Connor Farrell, but the ball still alive. Farrell throws a shoulder into Courier, who came up with the ground. Water Dogs have pulled away slightly. They've got an 11-8 lead over Chrome here with six and a half to go. And an update on our prop of the game, powered by DraftKings Sportsbook, Mikey Schlosser made some people a winner if you took the over in this one. 12 different goal scorers in this game. Caught a glimpse of Jesse Bernhardt. Forced to be a spectator here in the second half for Chrome after an injury late in the first. Farrell popped it free. The ground ball this time for Ryland Reese on the other wing. Opportunity for get him to get his hands free and shot on net. Connor Farrell had the face off one and Withers just swats it away. Coming in for the injured Michael Sowers. Farrell, a win. What can he do with it? Joel White to the rescue. A little more chemistry with the guys and certainly... Uh, you look at Brown's performances. He didn't have a point against Cannons in week one. It's the first goal for Chrome since Rogers made it 9 8, a minute and 44 seconds to go in the third quarter. You just look at.